All right. Glad you all are here. Welcome to Nailed It, Pit Edition. The Pit of Palooza conference session based on the award-winning Netflix show, best on the, based on the internet phenomenon where ordinary people try to recreate masterpieces. But don't always get there. I'm Laura Paglione, PID enthusiast. Today, you will join a team to recreate iconic PID logos. One team will walk away with extreme bragging rights, but all are winners here as you have a bit of fun while getting more familiar with the symbols of the PIDs that we use. Let's learn how to play the game. Everybody's going to be in teams, and you're going to be recreating an image in pixelated form using a palette of colors. Here you can see the palette of colors, and there are numbers for each one of the, each one of the colors that you see. Here you see the image. You also see the image on the right side that you're going to be recreating. Your image will be different. You also have, your file will have a canvas, and that canvas is masquerading as a spreadsheet in this case. Each one of the cells is a pixel, and you're gonna be able to assign one color to each pixel to recreate the image. The way that you set the colors is you select a cell, you type the number that's corresponding to the color that you want for the, for the cell, and then if you want to change the, the color, you can just click on the cell again and type a different number. You can also just delete the number if you just want to remove the color. So to get started, and everybody will be getting onto a team. So we're going to do our first task here, and everybody should draw, join Slido to, to, let, to select a team that they're going to participate on, to participate in. And the goal here is so that all the teams are even. So you can either use the RC code at the top, upper left corner, or you can go to slido.com and type PID nailed it into the box to open up the poll. When you select your team, then you just hit the, the save button to, to submit your answer. One person chose team nine. We'll wait for others to join the teams. It's like we have four to. It's on the screen, the, the team, the code is PID nailed it, slido.com. Looks like we got five people playing. Anybody else in? It's like Team 7 might have two people on it. You want to compete. There are 10 to choose from. So if you want to compete on your own, someone from Team 7 can move to a different team that doesn't have anybody on it yet. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. Uh, you can, uh, if if anybody else wants to play, you you can just follow the next step, and then you'll you'll um, and you'll join that way. So what you need to do is just note which team you're on, and if you're not if you don't remember which one that you chose, when you look on your screen on your device where you just made uh, your choice, you should see a little person icon next to the team that you've chosen. 
Okay, I'm gonna move on. Hopefully everybody has their cues. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to bit.ly slash nailed it pid, and that will open up the file. And then there are several t tabs at the bottom of the file, and you just select the tab for the team number that you're on, and you'll find the PID that you're going to you're going to be creating your image on. And here I can see all of them. So you can just hop into the file. And you can just click, click on a cell anywhere and then type the numbers for the files. Like for example, I'm gonna choose this one. Maybe that's number eight, I think. And you have until you have about 11 minutes to create your masterpiece. So see how far you can get in eight minutes. We'll do the big reveal. It's like team one is pulling ahead. About seven minutes to go. Team seven's getting there. Team three is really making some progress. Your masterpieces will end up in the in the slide deck forever immortalized. No, if I was a betting person, I'd be betting on number seven right now. Look at that beautiful diagonal lines. Another, I'll give you another five minutes. 
And if you're feeling good about how far you've gotten, uh, if you can identify what logo you're doing, extra bonus points. Just close my str All right, I'll give you some drawing music. We're at a quarter past. I want to give you an opportunity to say, nailed it. As pitiful loses station number one. All right, get two more minutes. <laughs> Team number seven is blinging out their uh, their image with nice text. Team three is looking pretty close to done. Team one's looking pretty close to done. If you're done, you're welcome to to jump into a different tab. There's there's nothing in number two, number four, five, six, and ten. Pausing the music. Oh, I'm sorry, John, I didn't know you love that song. I'll play it again after. Okay, we have some beautiful images here. Um, we'll, I'll take them. Team one, we have this great image. 
I think it looks pretty good, pretty close. Any comments in the in the stream for this logo? And what logo is this? Pause wrap. All right, Pitapalooza, you can't be the one answering these questions. You know all of them. <laughs> the small r. Excellent. The next one that was done is this one. It's pretty close. Woohoo! Claps. Claps for team three. Okay, let's check out this one. Hmm, what logo is that? So pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoop, whoop. No, no, it's Badger. So happy with the diagonal. This is really, that is a work of art. <laughs> Nice. I should have a, a more pixelated logo. I feel like we should just put these into like um, uh, Gather Town or something. Anybody knows Gather Town? And this one. That's looking pretty good too. <laughs> Still working on it. Excellent. Um, where's this one? Does anybody know what logo this is? Yeah, Freya. I took out the word, but there's actually Freya written in the in there. Great. So that is that was the activity. We did them pretty quickly because uh, when you do them on your own, it's, it's easier. Oh wait, like we have this one too. Let's see. That's a good start. the abstract version of this logo. Does anybody know what logo this is? All right, the people who, ah. All right, John, you, of course you know which logo that is. <laughs> Excellent, well these, these uh, images are going to stay up for a while. So if you wanna interact with them more, you're welcome to do that. Um, uh, this game was, was developed uh, many years, uh, earlier in the pandemic. Um, and this first image was an actual image that was done by a team of people in about 15 minutes to recreate the Mona Lisa. Um, so it was pretty fun to, to come up with, um, with that project. Are there any logos that should have been in this list that were not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
percent so you can see them. Great. Team Raid still going. I think there should be a day when everybody changes their logos to these pixelated versions of them. Yeah, I like I like Nice's logo. And I actually do think it would be a really good um, Gather Town version of it. So if you ever Todd, if you're ever in uh, Gather Town, you should bring this logo along with you. <laughs> Perfect. Now you have a pixelated logo to go with it. Yeah, absolutely. I need to get a copy of that. <laughs> well done to whoever was in what was that team seven yeah team seven all right do you have some walk-off music i can play some do you have, uh, you know, disco lights like the uh, Germans and the French? <laughs> I, I just have the, the PID uh, lists. So, actually, I submitted it to one of them. Here, <laughs> Short versions of all the songs. Thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. This was great. Well done. All right, so that is, I think, Laura, the end of our session, this session. Um, good fun, good fun. Uh, we, in this particular Crowdcast session, have a break now. Uh, there is about half an hour until our next uh, session in this room. Uh, so stage two, uh, block eight, is going to be up at 7 p.m. Eastern. So that is, if I do my math correctly, uh, midnight UTC. So with that, I'm not going to end the broadcast. Uh, there is a question. Uh, Ginny asked if we could continue doing their logo tweaks. I think that's okay. Absolutely okay. The files are completely open, so you're welcome to play with them as much as you'd like. So, uh, Laura, cool props to you. Thank you.